hello and welcome guys welcome back to my channel so again i am here with uh, another moodle installation that is moodle 4.3 so we'll try installing this moodle version that is moodle 4.3 okay so in this step we will try downloading the code from the git itself then we create a database then you see we will create a moodle database then we set the permission required that is read write and access permission then you see the configuration changes after making all the changes we will try accessing that particular setup from the uh, url that is chrome browser then let's see the steps of installation okay so let's get started with that so here i'm going to git model something on the web and the first link you see and you will redirect it to github.com slash model slash model from here you see the https you can copy this one okay so i have my vamp install on my windows 11 system so coming to vamp then ww you can see here on top then here i am going to create a directory model 4.2 then i will be creating here the model let's say code okay and i also have a git vs install here so git clone this url then i will put the dot here so that every content will come inside it will not create any additional directory okay so i'm pressing the enter now coming back to this model 4.2 directory and the next step download from git it is in progress now let's create a db database so for creating a db i have uh, hi the database as you can see here i can also access the local host php my admin either i can also create from here but i will prefer this create okay so i'm going going to create db that is model 43 okay 543 for the version you can put your name whichever name you want here okay so in my case i am going to use model 43 okay so now you just created here you see so in my db name We'll also see here if you replace, you will see model 43 here. This one, the model 43. Okay, you see the blank DB. Let's check the code. Yes, it is still in progress. The next step is to create a model data and set permission so i am going to create moodle data directory here as it is one of the important part of uh, moodle installation okay. then i am going to set permission here if you are using the linux you have to set uh, 0 triple seven permission read write and access then the code yes you can see my code is downloaded so if you could here so currently you will see the master branch but in my case i want the moodle 4.3 only so this one is the moodle 403 hdl version okay so if i want to move switch to this i just need to click moodle git checkout 
to this particular version and now press enter and now you can see i am switched to this branch now we'll see the configuration changes so here i can see the config Inst i will make a copy of this So my file will be config.php now I am going to open here to edit okay okay so this URL you don't see I it is not in use so I am going to use this as an URL okay and the more that will go whichever url you are using if you are on live you can put the here the ip address or the live url or domain name with against the field of this ww root then data root so the path of data root will goes here here then I will have to make the changes of TB. So I am not going to use the PG SQL. I am going to use the my SQL I in my local hosts as currently I am using on local. And this one is the DB name. So in my case, it was model 43. In the username, in my case, local it is root, and I don't have any password. Okay. So I'm all set with all these sections like downloading a git i have database created then i have the model data creation and the permission then i have make all the configuration changes inside model so as you see here i am using this on my local machine that is windows 11 the same thing can be done on any server the same steps will be also replicated and it will be working okay so now i am going to hit this url localhost 403 then i have a code directory yeah. here that was this model 43 then i have code yeah. so i am going to So this will be working there. Plus, then this, then the code. Okay. So this will be used here as a www root, not that. Okay. My code is here. Got it. So let me try hitting the URL. This. So this will be working fine. And you will see the installation next step and it will coming fine for you once you are all these steps we have follow correctly okay like you have the code course you will have the DB you will have the model data with the permission you will have and you will make all the changes as per the uh, this model data and the URL you have and this so after the successful configuration changes and by following all the steps you will once you hit that url okay it will redirect you to this page now i am going to click on continue okay so it will check for all the the change server related check that will be required for this particular model installation that is model 4.3 so in my case it is passing all everything here okay so database i am using php 8.0 oh, is required but i am using this 8.0 and 3.1 php 
you can check this same thing if it is not fulfilling you will have to update that particular stuff in which you will be getting the failed okay let me click on continue so here on this page it will take some time okay so suppose you have pulled the code from this model git and now you want to move ahead with any different version not the latest one so then how you can do that you can simply switch to this 402 that means model 4.2 if you want model 4.2 then we will have to switch to this how you can switch git checkout and your branch name okay so currently i am moving ahead with 4.3 you can see here on top model 4.3 plus okay it will also show you the date the build date that is showing 2023 10 20 10 is for october and 20 that okay now if you want to use any other older version you can also switch to any other branch like if you switch to 401 stable it will be 4.1 then 4.0 this then if you want to move ahead with 3.11 but there is no point in moving ahead with the older one because latest uh, stable one also consider the all the security fixes that have been raised during the last version it contains all the security steps and some speed improvement and some other improvement okay so it is always recommended to move ahead with the current stable one although you see here if you come to this master branch you can also move with that move move ahead with that but it will give you model 4.4 dev okay but it is highly recommended to use only the stable one stable one okay so 4.3 is currently a stable one okay so you can verify here all the stuffs has been installed in some cases you will also see the failed stuffs here due to maybe the open ssl okay here also it is failing due to open ssl certificate okay it's look all good so click on continue now so after clicking on the continue you will be move you will be directed to a page from here you can create uh, your admin credential Okay, so I am going to use my email address. Let it be the same, the admin as a username, and I am going to put here my password. That is pass at the rate one to three. Okay, the first name I am also put putting as an admin, and second name as a user. Visible to everyone. I want my email visibility to everyone. Yes, city town. If you want to fill up with and you can select the country then you can select the time zone also if you want but yeah these are the not the required stuff you can also do that later one yeah so asia calcutta i am having my current time zone so let me go to that okay so this one it's my time zone so default format in my case which will be applicable here i can also put okay so update profile so this one i have created an admin credential so you can save this credential and it will be used for the login purpose for the next time so here also it will take a bit time oh let's wait now after creating admin credential it will send you to uh, set up uh, the home site home settings like in my case i am going to my name pick again that is my youtube channel name same thing here and some goes here and time then time zone if you want to put here support email no reply email yeah 
now click on save changes after filling everything you can put here here you can put the description of your site that will be appearing on the home page click on save changes okay so now you are all set with the your installation with no issue okay so site under site terms you see these are the stuffs here you can verify so most of the thing you will find the similar to the model 4.2 but there are some additional stuffs in 4.3 we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos later on so let me log out from here and try login with the admin credential so login mean password okay so this one be your default look so let me do the path cache admin prg chs dot php okay so for all caches Now let me log out again. Click on login. Okay. So this looks uh, better as appearing and previously it was appearing some default value here. It looks fine this time. So forget password page will be look like this. If you want to put uh, login background, the settings are also there for the logo background and other stuff so you can do that okay so in the coming video we'll also discussing the what are the new stuffs here what you can do in model 4.3 that was not available in model 4.2 so that's all for from this video if you have not subscribed my video yet my channel yet you can subscribe for my all the future videos and updates thank you thank you for watching and have a great day